okay is the dream over have you all come back to reality now indian cricket fans wake up this is the real world that we are talking about it's yellow it's australia a clinical thorough professional australia and let us make no mistake about it with this win now they are the six time world cup winners and without doubt now one of the greatest sporting cricketing teams in the history of the game the numbers don't lie the numbers don't lie if you thought ricky ponting's 140 was going to hurt you in 2003 johannesburg travis head 137 of the finest runs that you can get and the heartbreak has continued for india i mean this is now the second tournament second straight tournament in the second straight year that come a final against australia it has been travis head who's hurt you lest we forget in that world test championship final as well it was his knock in the first innings that absolutely changed the game and ensured that come what may india were playing catch up yes and today also i think let's give full credit to that one partnership between him and marnus labushain steadied the ship and then once he found that the ball stopped moving once he found that the indian spinners weren't getting that much purchase he did what he does best single handedly destroyed destroyed them that 192 run stand that they had changed the entire perception of the game mm. sure australia were playing with 11 indians and 132000 other players against them everything was thrown at them yeah. the new ball was absolutely hooping around there was swing seam skid but australianism the ability to never give up the ability to put up a fight every single time i'll, I'll add to that it wasn't just the ability to never give up and put up a fight the ability to adapt yeah look, look at travis head what is the one thing that travis head does best destroy and destroy fast fast he doesn't like to use a term which is very popular in other sports he doesn't get paid by the hour he'll come he'll do his job and he'll go home what did he do today he knew at that point that the conditions were not ideal for stroke making yes he got a couple of uh, boundaries of uh, bumrah early on but after that once three wickets fell he's like no now's the time to curb those instincts yep. what does he do curbs those instincts plays not even i would say percentage cricket plays by any standards especially his own defensive cricket why because he knew that once the ball stopped moving around that's when potentially there was a chance for australia to get back into the game and that's exactly what happened the turning point for me by the way was that once this ball stopped seeming after the first 10 overs what does rohit do very smart captaincy on his part he turns to his spinners why do i say smart because if he had delayed it for later the dew might have kicked in yes but but this was something that rohit could not account for the pitch didn't spin yes and and the tactics we all knew that travis head has a short ball weakness but on this wicket now this is where we have to look at cricket very very holistically mm. on this wicket there wasn't much skid or bounce mm. unlike the oval that had massive skid and there was hustling bounce there was carry there was plenty of carry yes that is why india at that time faltered by not employing the short ball tactic early here they employed the short ball but the pitch was not helping early on with a brand new ball if you are banging it in short and travis head by the way is not a tall man yes. but if it's sitting up at chest height for him to smack you know that tactic is out of the window at that yep. point in time it ain't happening yes and travis head let me tell you everybody 132 in ahmedabad they are gloom faced mm. it's as if a funeral is happening there everybody in the office the mood is somber this generation now will have to yet again put up with a heartbreak exactly i need sorry <coughs> i need to gather my emotions first because this is the first time after 2011 honestly speaking i had this thing in me that you genuinely deserve to win this time very honestly i know 
England was a better team. 2015 Australia clearly was the better team. 2016 West Indies clearly outplayed you. 2017 Pakistan had a brilliant day. I can genuinely remember each and every time I have faced this heartbreak, but this time I wasn't expecting. Till the time I haven't seen the visuals, I wasn't able to still believe that you are genuinely not getting the cup home this time. This team deserved it. As far as the Shami and Siraj thing is concerned, Shami got the swing early on. Later on, when he was again gotten into the attack, he tried to get that swing. There was nothing in the pitch. Siraj, Kuldeep, Jadija, I think Pat Cummins, why Australia is Australia, the decision he made. I think exactly. that is where he won. He's I, a genius. I remember at that point, I no way. I was, I was, I was sitting here, same seat, laughing out on his decision. But now, when I look uh, look at it in hindsight, it was a tremendous decision. To I make. think I think there was one comment. I think it was from Piyush Nandre yes. who said that Pat Cummins has taken a decision that will either be lauded as genius or stupid. It was genius, genius because everything played out exactly how he said it would. He said very clearly that look, it's going to be better to bat on in the first innings, or it'll be tough to bat in the second innings. Things will ease out with the dew, and I don't think the dew was significant. But it was there, and I think it definitely played a part. Even without that, I think under floodlights, this pitch became a dream to bat on. After I think 13, 14 yes. overs, it was like you were playing on a totally different strip. And Travis Head at that point is playing attacking shots. And by the way, special shout out Manus Labuschagne. Ah, definitely. What a yeah. knock! What an attritional knock! A brilliant knock where he just held from. And and the best part is he said. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Now, what were the nightmares that India were anticipating? You all were thinking, no, one bad day. What could be that one bad day? Rohit and Virat don't have a massive point. 47 and 54, I am telling you. These are, they are decent scores, but not match winning scores. No, but I think this is the exact score you would have been expecting from someone like a Rohit, the way he's been batting. Okay, fair. Now, there is a parallel even here also. Because, what happened in the Virat situation? I was telling upstairs, but not many people were appreciating it at that time. For the first time in 2016, Virat crossed 900 runs in the IPL. Yeah. And in the final, he got 54. Bold. Here, 765 runs. First time anybody's crossed 700. Mm. 54. Bold. Oh, that's a bad parallel to draw. That, that I'm telling you, 54 runs, that broke the entire momentum. Mm. Because what was the highest partnership that India could muster? That's just about it. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, is my mic and everything. So, yeah, I think now the problem is the 192 run partnership didn't come from anybody in the Indian team. And that is why I have to really appreciate the decision that Pat Cummins took. Yeah. Cummins, for the first time in 15 years, if you have to look at Australia and India, it's been a struggle for them. A captain got the conditions right. Yeah. Normally, the captain doesn't get the conditions right. He got it right. He led from the front. Stark bowled with discipline. Cummins bowled with discipline. And Hazelwood in the death. He curbed Surya Kumar Yadav. Badly. 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 Because of that, 241 and look at the effort they were putting in the field. That itself meant that all India were playing catch up. Now with the bat. Three wickets fell. Of course, Smith did a four power by not even doing the review. He was, it was, impact was outside. Yeah, it wasn't even like an umpire's call type. Yeah, it was outside. Just... But then that's where Labushain buckled down. It was like fire and ice mm. and everything nice. Mm. Labushain was the high school man and head just went berserk. How now, do you rhyme so well after such a loss? I can do it because see, now this is where I credit Australianism. It draws me to a parallel of 1999 and 2015. I'll tell you the 1999 situation. Australia lost two of the first three games. Mm. Then they won everything. And in the final, please, this wasn't even a fight. It mm. was a shellacking. Mm. India have been shellacked in Ahmedabad. So, Australia now join Kolkata, Lords, Johannesburg, 
Barbados, Melbourne and full circle your back Ahmedabad. Six World Cup titles and Pat Cummins has achieved the three-peat in five months. World Test Championship, Travis Head was the factor. Ashes, Travis Head also was a slight factor but the bowlers stepped up. Not just slight, he was until he was. England found him out with the short ball. Yes. He was a factor. Yep. And now the World Cup. And remember, after he scored that century against New Zealand, three failures, 62 in, in the, the semi final, 137. Australia have found a new clutch player. Travis Head. Yes. And the, the 2015 parallel, the 2015 parallel is when James Faulkner hmm. was injured. Faulkner was rested because he suffered a side strain in that uh, Tri-Series final. Mm. In that final, Australia didn't name a replacement. Mm. They mm. kept Faulkner in the squad, knowing fully well that, boy, we need James Faulkner. He's a clutch player. He came in the final. What did he do? Three, Three wickets. wickets. Broke the New Zealand batting spine. Here, Travis Head got a fractured yeah, yeah. finger by Gerald Katsir. It was a wrist, if I'm not mistaken. Finger, finger, finger. Ah. finger. We were talking about why, haven't, why aren't they naming a replacement for him? This looks now, like why they are not. Now, this is Australianism. They back their clutch player. Mm. He said, no problem. You recover. Don't play in the first 5-6 games. Let us just scrape through it. And they scraped through. And did they respond? And Travis Head has given an exhibition of batting today. The highest score by a uh, player in the World Cup final chasing. Yes, and only the second century after Aravinda Silva. Aravinda de Silva. And Aravinda de Silva, remember, that was epoch making. For Australia, it is the stamp hmm. that they are one of the greatest sporting teams. That Because the conditions, the crowd, the atmosphere, everything was against them. But <laughs> somehow, some way, hmm. India, an unbeaten beast in this entire thing. They had beaten them in March. But ever since then, dominance after dominance after dominance in bilateral series. They have now beaten South Africa in the semi-final and they have beaten India. Two teams against whom they lost bilateral series and the first two games also. Talk about revenge at the biggest step in all. Mm, but I really want to know your thoughts on this. That What is it? with India and not because today you didn't have that bad half an hour you were genuinely you did not match up to the game level of Australia this wasn't the case of bad half an hour versus New Zealand yeah it was no. in Australia yeah maybe it was but this time this was you never had that bad half an hour now I'll tell you you just said Australia's alpha male discipline okay why do you think every individual was scared? Oh, please, let us not face Australia. Yeah, I remember. The alpha male tendency in pressure situations. They follow this particular mantra to the hilt. Brains in the fridge, bodies in the, oven. in the oven. Now, that first seven over spell could have broken any other team except Australia. Hmm. Travis head countered. Yeah, Look at the right. way. Shami, I think the one release shot that he had straight down the ground. Mm, I remember that. That's it. it I think broke right. the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It broke India's resistance at that time. And Labushain, fire and ice and everything. And now, now, the start. Remember, in that tough conditions there, six overs for 60 in South Africa. Here, they were already four overs, 45, 18. Yeah, 11 yeah, yeah, yeah. wides and the buys that KL Rahul had. Today, if there is one individual who's had a massive, bad massive bad day, it's KL Rahul. Hmm. Definitely. Couldn't rotate the strike well, played too many dot balls from 11 to 40. Only two boundaries scored. Yeah. That is the level of alpha male discipline. Yeah, yeah, I actually do agree with you because if there would have been, you got the same start the bowlers have been giving you in all the games. It's just that how the other team actually responded today. Other yeah. teams would have folded. Here, Australia grabbed that, tried to accumulate in that time and they... Yes. I'll, I'll add one more point to all of this, is that with Australia, it boils down to one thing, mentality. 
A hmm. winning mentality has been ingrained into this Australian cricket team ever since 1877. Exactly. They have always been top dogs. I mean, just because they didn't have a lot of success in the <coughs> early years of the World Cup, they they it took yeah. them uh, their they fourth attempt. They reached the final in 75. Yeah. But then 79, 83 were disasters. They were nowhere. Yeah. Then in 87 also, mind you, correct me if I'm wrong, but they weren't favourites. England were the favourites and they won out by what a run? Seven <coughs> runs. Seven runs. It was a very close. I think it was the closest final you had up until that point in time. But that started something because then after that, 92 okay was one time where they were genuinely outplayed. 96 again, same thing. It took something phenomenal from Sri Lanka to actually ensure that they were put to bed. After that, 99 champions after winning, after losing the first two, uh, two of three games. 2003 didn't lose a single game. Seven 2007 really. didn't lose a single game. Ironically, ironically, and this is a bit of a, I don't know, full circle kind of moment. In 2011, India ended Australia's winning streak across three World Cups. No, no, no. India didn't end it. It was Pakistan. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot. Pakistan in Palakele. Yeah. But I'm talking about, I think, the knockouts thing then. Yeah, because yeah, they had yeah. never lost a knockout in 99 yeah. or 2003 or 2007. Yeah, knockout. Then, in the knockout quarterfinal, India versus Australia. And I remember, I think that was one match where I think more people were nervous than the Pakistan game. Yes. Pakistan, you were confident. Australia was like, this is a banana peel. Yeah. Then, when you beat them, that felt like the first real moment where you're like, you know what, this team has it in them. They can be world champions. Yep. Sadly, this team, you know, and, and, and again, why I'm talking about, let's leave the Indian team aside for Australia, that winning or that consistent winning has breeded a mentality that has been, whether or not you believe in that, passed down through generations at this point. Yeah. Yep. You mean, you can say whatever they like about or whatever you like. You can say that, you know, the Australian teams post the Ponting era probably weren't that dominant as they were in the early yeah. to mid 2000s. The war and Ponting teams were next level when it came to having pure match winners. But how much have they really struggled? Under Clark's leadership also, they did pretty well. They did win a World Cup at home. They were good at home ashes. They even had a... Uh, uh, that was the Final ashes, right? 2013. Yeah, 2013. So, it's not like they slipped off. They slipped off by their own standards. Yes. So, they were only living up to their... Or, or only unable to live up to their own standards. But they were still successful. 2015, they were successful. Then, out of nowhere, 2021, they were successful. Again, whole different team. A whole different team. And 2021, by the way, they were captained by Aaron Finch. Probably the most undeserving Australian to have ever won a World Cup. Yes. No disrespect, but he contributed nothing. With the bat. Yeah, they had two did. batters who did well and three really if you call Matthew Warner, Wade. Wade. Warner, Wade and Marsh. Marsh. In, in the semi-final also I remember very clearly that 2021 World Cup, they were never in the race. Just those Just three sixes changed everything for you them. You are missing one very vital point. Hasan Ali's drop. Marcus Stoinis. He was the one who gave Wade the license to do it. So, number one. Number two, I'll add from Shane's point. Australia's fire has always been forged in India. Mm. Look at 87. Where That's did where they win started. the first? It started in India. Look at the 2006 Champions Trophy. Where did it start? In India. India. Look at where the World T20 triumph happened. In the UAE, in Asian conditions. Which was, by the way, incidentally, technically hosted by India. India. Yeah. Now, why I am saying that this team is the greatest? How many teams can boast of the fact that we have come to India and won we the World did. Cup twice? 87 and 2023. Thrice if you count 2021. How many teams have done that? Every other team was blown by the wayside. Sri Lanka blown aside. Pakistan blown aside. New Zealand blown aside. England had uh, shown the door. South Africa. Australia are a different mentality monster altogether. Three World Cups and four ICC events. Four. Consider this magnificent achievement. And if I have to say, the Southern Stars have always maintained are the greatest sporting team ever. I am now tempted to put even Pat Cummins aside as one of the greatest ever. I mean, Pat Cummins is probably one of the most unassuming captains Australia have ever had. Mm, I yeah. mean, a lot of people were being unkind to the guy saying that, you know, he too is someone who probably wasn't pulling his weight as much. Yep. Despite the fact that he'd actually gotten 13 wickets and had a rather thankless job, by the way. Being a middle overs bowler is no mean feat, yes. especially in ODIs, because you're consistently only having to look to hit the hard lengths, yep. which runs you the risk of if you over to it or underdo it, you're going to get smacked, which yes. is what happens to him. It is a thankless, thankless job that he takes on. It reminds me, and it's a bit similar in a different way though. 
to what Gillespie, Jason Gillespie would bring to the Australian team of exactly. the 90s and 2000s. You know what's the one thing with Jason Gillespie? Why is it that people don't talk about him enough? The numbers aren't great comparatively compared to uh, Glenn McGrath who had how many test wickets? 563. 563. Then you had Vaughan, the first to breach the 700 mark. You had so Lee. You had Lee. But you, you, never, com you never compared Gillespie. You but know, for what? impact, he was right. No, you know, also not just impact. You know, what was Gillespie's biggest strength? That man of his 270 odd test wickets, I think about 180, 190 of them were top six batters. Yes, yes. So he did the thankless job. Yeah, these things gen generally don't go by the numbers. Even for that, lots of batters who have played in the middle order, their numbers might not be that big. But it's always considered the batsman giving you runs and the middle order is much more difficult. Exactly. Because the ball gets soft, old, the power play opens up. So all of that things at a lot like, of I was time, reading, you know. I remember some quotes from Gillespie. I don't know how I came across it somewhere on social media. Where someone quizzed him, it was an interview, an old interview had done and someone said that, you know, uh, you got these many wickets, these men, but most of them were top order bats. Do you think if you got to bowl at the tail more, you'd have had more wickets? He's like, sure. But it didn't matter back then because that was the role that was given to me. Yep. Saying for me, I grew up wanting to play international cricket for Australia. So if I was given a role to play and if that role was go and get the top six batters out to trouble them, then I was going to go ahead and do it. Yep. I have to adjust to a role given to me by the team. The team is not going to adjust their demands given to me given or by to, my yes, strengths. Yes. He's saying plus, uh, if you had the lower order come, you'd have the likes of uh, Glenn McGrath and Shane Vaughan start warming up. Yep. McGrath would start warming up. Vaughan would be signaling to the captain that bring me on because my turn is such that the tail enders aren't going to read me. And that's spot on. That was the role he took on. Similar with Cummins. He's taken on a very thankless role. The middle order, middle overs for a pacer. It's a death knell. It's a death, it's a death knell. knell. Because if you're, and especially at that pace, consistently 145, can crank it up to 150 in right conditions. Well, what if it goes wrong? Ask Haris Rauf. Haris Rauf, indeed. You will get taunt. Yes. But see today, clutch game, clutch mentality. And two, two wickets. And look at the wickets. Pat, we were talking about Pat Cummins not stepping up for the side. Yeah. Just and look at his numbers today. Today, I'll tell you, four nightmares played out for India. Hmm. Four nightmares. One. Virat and Rohit couldn't continue. Today, everybody will question that Rohit shot. And by the way, we are missing one major factor. Travis hit that catch. He is the man of the match. He has to be. Absolutely the man of the match. He is the man of the match because Pat Cummins, you know, Maxwell, if, if that catch was dropped, India were going past 300. Mm. But running back, what a catch. That is one. Number one. Number two. Because Kohli and Rohit could not carry on to big scores and because the rest of the batting had not been tested, now your problem happened. Surya could not fire. KL couldn't step up to the tempo. Surya has got out early. KL, what was his major thing? He could at least change the tempo. He couldn't do that. Third, Australia's discipline in the field today was next level. And with the ball. With the ball. Ah. This stat, remember, more than Travis Head's 137, two boundaries in 29 overs ensured India were always playing catch up. Yeah. Number three, okay? The pitch, for once, an Australian captain got it right. You didn't just get it right. Spot on. Spot on. I mean, that okay. is a number four, I said. Number five. What if Jaddu and Kuldeep? Never got those wickets. It happened. Today, none of the spinners got wickets. Because as you mentioned, it was not spinning. It was a two-paced wicket. But once the uh, new ball lost its shine, that's it. And I dare say two-paced, it was only in the first innings. Mm. In the second innings, it wasn't that two-paced. Because again, the uh, seamers early on, even with the carry, they were getting half-decent bounce. Yes. But once the ball lost its hardness, you realize because Rohit, as I said, he brought on the spinners pretty instantly. But it just didn't matter because you weren't getting anything. Jadeja was getting no turn. And you know that uh, such a pitch would be an intimate to him. Yep. Because quite frankly, he's a finger spinner. Yes. In the right conditions, he will be lethal. Yep. Otherwise, he's just left playing the job of a container, which given the circumstances, just was never going to be enough. You yep. had 241 runs to defend. Which is why now, vindiction. Two anchors for this kind of a situation needed two anchors. Oh, Correct. Sorry. Smith failed. Labushain. The master failed, but the apprentice took over. And remember, Labushain was not even a certainty in this World Cup. My Prince. 
not just the certainty in this World Cup. I was questioning whether or not he should have been playing the semi-final. I would have played a Marcus Stoinis ahead of him. What a way to silence the critics. Also, by the way, one more thing I have to point out. And I think this is something that we'll dwell about more when we talk about uh, mentality. Uh, and this is where sometimes I say sometimes it's best not to chirp at players. Or if you're going to do it, do it when you're guaranteed. When Manus Labushin walked onto the pitch, Kohli was giving an absolute earful. Chirping to him, sarcastic applause. What does Manus Labushin do? 58 or 100. And I think even Travis said also when he got to 100, he was giving this. He was doing all this. So, and then he raised the bat. And that's why this was the nightmare. Okay. And because four overs for 40, then you had the chance to just play out the remainder of the bowlers. Yeah. And Siraj for two consecutive games yeah. has not fired. In fact, I feel that runs that came in the first two overs, there was like 15, 20 run odd overs. It was Johannesburg yeah. repeat. 15 runs that, in the first over. That was also a very big turning point because that gave them that cushion of not getting into pressure. And after that also, if you realize, after that they got about 7 runs and lost 3 wickets. But because of those 40 runs, it at the scoreboard, it looked 47 for 3. Yes. So that gave them a lot of advantage also. So that mindset which someone like a David, I, David Warner, a nothing shot. Such a, such a boss. So yeah. far outside he went for that shot. But that intent, that just shows why Australia ended up Winning that game. Siraj, by the way, just two points. One was that Siraj has been useless now for the second half of the tournament. Yes. In fact, I don't call him useless. No, I would say useless, yeah. but he's definitely dropped off. In fact, I, I remember early on, first half of the tournament, I think I was the only person on this panel who said that no, India need eight batters. Because I no, knew a day like this would come. Yeah. And yeah. I said very clearly, actually, you weren't here early days, remember? So at that point, I was swiftly outnumbered. Yeah. I would always say, no, you need a Shardal or you need an Ashwin because you need that buffer. What if one day you have a bit of a collapse on a tough pitch? Today, if you had that number 8, and I know this is all hearsay, maybe you you would not have seen... You know, you know why? Because mm. Sky and... Uh, I think it was... Not Sky, it was KL and Sky. Mm. Who just shut off. Yeah. Because they knew. They knew if they lose one wicket, then you're risking exposing your very long tail. tail. Who quite frankly offers... Four number 11s. Whatever. Correct. You have four number 11s. Unlike Australia, who by the way, even if you have to get a couple of wickets when they needed 50 runs. Yeah, no. You've got a Pat Cummins at 8 and a Mitchell Stark at 9 who you can at least count on to knock the ball around if not hit a few long ones. They were the guys who rescued Australia in that game against South Africa. Ah, yeah, yeah. Now, okay, now, let us not be overtly critical hmm. about the Indian cricket team. For over 10 games, they have given you so much to cheer. By the way, you have to cheer them, you have to also criticize them because on two factors now, now that the match is over. Hmm. The Rohit Sharma shot. Mm. Okay, let us focus on that now. Rohit had hit a 6 and a 4 of Glenn Maxwell. But you know that he's been giving you these kind of starts. Mm. Suresh Raina expressed his disappointment when he spoke to Sports Today about that shot. Robin Uttapa was 50-50 on that. Yeah, yeah. in fact, I, have, I just did the questions. I was just recording yeah. those. So, in that point also, again, what you are saying, you're right. So, Ray Stenna is a little crit critical about it, but Robin Uthapa, like I totally agree with him there, that you cannot be critical about that because these are the exact same starts. All of us sitting here were praising a lot. So, today when it has backed, I, I don't even think that has backfired. He fully did his job. Virat, yeah, you might, you can say that sort of, he did not play the whole innings. Yes, Iyer did not contribute and everything. But Rohit Sharma, these are the exact same starts that got you onto a 400 also in a semi-final. Now, now, again, again, Rohit might have played that shot. Fine, he follows the razor's edge philosophy, mm. okay? Razor's edge. If it pays off, it pays off. If it doesn't pay off, doesn't pay off. Mm. Today, it didn't pay off because two factors. Even Virat didn't get a big score. Big score. I mean, when Rohit has fallen for two 47s and a 46 and a 48, who has carried it forward? Virat. Who's got the bigger runs? Kohli's Virat, got the Reyes and KL. Correct. Now, what happened with that dismissal? Australia found a spark. They got, they got a year cheaply. Four runs. But then, because Rohit played that shot and it was a fantastic catch by Travis Head, the bowling discipline ensured Virat had to work hard for his runs. Mm, KL had to yeah. work for runs. Yeah. So, in hindsight, if you look at it, it had to not work on the worst day possible. And, and I'm sorry, I'll not be as forgiving and I'm a big fan of Robin Othappa, both the player and the person. I'll not be as forgiving to him here. You know why? Because 
we all know that I do have a soft spot for the England team, whether it be their white ball team, whether it be their red ball team. And I've not been afraid to call a spade a spade there and say, if you played a foolish shot, philosophy be damned, you played a foolish shot. Yes. Same thing today. Yep. That situation did not need you to go for a third big shot. You would got six and four. No, but I think you are you are going after Rohit because Virat, Shreyas and KL no, did not. No, yeah, no, exactly. Because no. if they would have gotten those runs, you okay, just tell me the simple example. Hmm. Last game he got the out he got hmm. out the same way. We did not criticize him in the last game. Yeah. We might have gotten to 450 if he would have stuck there. Then we did not criticize him that day. Then why are we criticizing him today? Because of the simple reason that Rohit, Shreyas and KL did not get you those big runs. I'll, I'll add, so you, I'll add in another factor. Just, yeah. one, just a minute. Hmm. When we are talking about Virat, that his role is to play till the end. Then, and we are not criticizing him for playing at a 90 strike rate. Then today, when Rohit is getting out on 47 with a 150 strike rate, you cannot at all at any cost criticize him. No, I will. For one simple reason. Yeah. One very simple reason. You, It's about playing to the situation. The situation or not? Yeah, 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 the, situation, yeah, yeah. the situation demanded, you knew it was not easy batting conditions. So actually, once you've gotten that start, you could have looked to consolidate. I'll, again, another example I'll give you. Travis Head in that South Africa game started off all guns, but then why did the structure drop to 129? Because he slowed down later on knowing that, okay, it's not that easy to play a start. Maybe look to bat longer, look to wait and let the things ease out a bit. Because again, I think India weren't in that much trouble in the middle overs if they hadn't lost so many wickets. With Kohli, I get your point and I fully agree. I think if he he didn't play through today, no. neither did Shreyas. KL had his own struggles because he could change gears. So that also cost you. No two ways about it. Today was a collective failure. It's not Rohit Sharma's fault you lost. It's not Virat Kohli's fault you lost. It's not Shreyas Ayer's fault you lost. It's not one person. It was a collective failure. Now, yeah. now, but look at the Rohit situation and match it with, you have to match it with Travis Head. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, now, he weathered the early storm, Travis Head, but he chose his moments, he played to the situation. Rohit, I can understand that he has to go for an aggressive shot, he's backing himself. It's worked 10 out of 10 times. Mm. Today, today, in the past what he's done, whenever he's hit a 6 and a 4, he's curved his instincts and moved on. Like what he did against Afghanistan, mm -hmm. okay. Like what he did even against Pakistan. He hit a big shot, he hit a boundary, he then found a single strike rotation. Today, it deserted him. Because having hit a six and a four, the razor's edge philosophy says that, okay, we have not been overtly critical on him. It's just a fact that we are pointing out. He didn't play according to the situation. The situation meant that, okay, now I've gotten 10 overs, I have 90. I now will consolidate. That's why a 300, 350 would have been possible. And Australia would not even have got it. Even if even if not 300, I think all you needed was 280 on this track. No, yeah. but then I think this is a simple error of judgment because you ended up reading the wicket uh, wrongly. I'll tell you why. Because today when uh, someone like a Virat came in, the wicket did not look to change. And we sitting here were talking about the fact that the wicket might get worse getting going into the second inning. Sure. This even we were talking about. Yeah. I think here is the difference. I do, I'm not going to blame Rohit the batsman here because I think the wicket was absolutely perfectly fine by that time uh, when Rohit was going along. Uh, and I do, I think the assessment which Australia did about the pitch, that was, see, see Travis said you are comparing him, but Travis had knew the total. I remember Shane sir and me are now, discussing about this. Now, yeah. now, now. That is where Rohit's responsibility has to increase a whole lot more. You are setting a total. You are not chasing a total. That is where. Now you know everybody has to just step up to the line now. Why did Rohit's 47 and 48 go under the radar in all the other games? Because the others contributed. Yeah. Today, no one contributed. That was nightmare number one. Hmm. What if Rohit and Virat don't have a good day? Hmm. And by their standards, they didn't have a good day. Yeah. yeah by, by their, their standards. standards. Yeah, yeah. They have set standards right up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Today it was here for them. Now, now, because of this, the middle order just could not get going. Number one. Which brings me. Now we are evenly split on the Rohit Sharma thing, but I tend to agree with Shane. When you are setting a total, you need to play with more responsibility. The approach that head had according to the situation, he kept it cool. Ball was there in the slot, he whacked it. But he knew the target uh, total also. That is not that his is fault. One advantage I'd give it. That him. is not his fault. 
Australia won the toss and they set the wheels going. Mm. That is why Rohit had to bat with a bit more thing, but you cannot expect him to do that every single time because he follows the razor's edge philosophy. Yeah. Razor's edge dictates that you go for it. If it doesn't come off, doesn't come off, be prepared to face the face the brick bats also. Now, because Rohit didn't get going, it now brings into question. KL Rahul's knock. Okay. 66 of 107, right? With one boundary, if I'm not mistaken, only one. And Shane had dug up a number saying that he played 47 dot balls. Let me actually mistaken. double check. That could be more okay. than that. Yeah, one four we can uh, direct. One four six. I'll, I'll tell you the number of dot balls yeah. it yep. was. It was yeah, 47 dot balls compared in out of 107, which means nearly half, half the balls yeah. you played were dots. And more importantly, you didn't rotate the strike enough. Because even yes. with Kohli, his uh, 63 knocks, his 63 balls had about 21 dot balls, which means exactly a third of the balls that he played, he scored no runs off. But even if you keep aside those four fours, which is 16 runs, if you remove that, that's 54, 48. Uh, you got 38 runs. 38 runs. That's 38 runs out of the number of balls. 63. There was yeah. 63 minus 4. 4, that's 59. Uh, minus the 21. Third, uh, 38. Exact 100 strike rate. That means his strike rotation was very good. Yes. Today, if Virat it played the, typical Virat. If you remove it for KL, it makes for worse reading. 66, you remove that 4, that's 62, 62. of 106. 106. 106 balls, 47 were... Okay, so 106 balls. meaning uh, uh, 47, 59. 59 balls, 62. Actually, that's fine. Then I think the problem wasn't so much a strike rotation. Boundaries. It was discipline. It was a lack of boundaries. Yes, lack of boundaries. Now, this is where everybody will say, KL Rahul, oh, he bungled up, he didn't do it. But if you closely observe that period of play, mm. Australia were in that zone. They yeah. just didn't give him anything to work with. Mm. Absolutely nothing. You look at uh, Cummins. At that time, Cummins allowed himself to bowl into a spell which was devastating. Mm. And also, Zampa, Maxwell, all bowled brilliantly. And Actually, <coughs> go down, go down, enemy. I want to see what the numbers are for the uh, uh, Australia bowlers. Because I don't think any of them crossed an economy of six. I was going to say, no one had an economy of seven and above. Hazelwood was the most expensive <laughs> at six. But he came back later on. Because of all the hits he got in the power play. Exactly. He improved on his economy. Exactly. And Stark, see, 5.5. But three wickets? Wickets. Uh, look at we talk about we criticize someone like Cummins. a Cummins, but he had the third best uh, economy on the day 3.4 3 with two wickets. With two wickets. That and is sensational. And remember, Cummins was the guy who broke the game open with Kohli's wicket. Correct. And because of that, see from 28.3 to uh, you may say uh, 7.2, how many runs came about? Just 30. In fact, I would say Cummins, uh, you know, with the ball, he killed off two hopes because he not only got rid of Kohli second. But the first picking you got was your best informed uh, middle Number order four, bat. Your most say, yeah. aggressive middle order bat was accounted for by Cummins. And, and initially, I was a little critical of Shreyas. But again, I go back to that ball. There's no. not a lot he could have done. He fended it because it tended to kind of angle in late because he thought maybe it hit the stump. So he fended for it, took a feather. He was caught. He, he was caught. It was a great yeah. line. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, a wonderful yeah. line. It was a nothing. It, it, he made it him look like a nothing batsman, to yeah, be honest. True. Yeah. Because. Can you overtly criticize KL? I don't think so. Because Australia were having their superhuman days. Yeah, I mean, see, you can say that and you can say it's an argument that you could say maybe you could have tried to force the issue. What if he did that and got out? Then we'd have been criticizing him more. That is why he couldn't force the issue. Hmm. Why? When Ravindra Jadeja, his struggles became amplified with the bat, hmm. he just had one pair. That's it. Yeah. If he had forced the issue, he had gotten out earlier, 240 also would not have been possible. Exactly, because again, if he, he knew there was only a sky thereafter, and sky's ODI form, all due respect, hasn't really been great. But one thing is certain, I had mentioned in the mid innings also, and irrespective of the match result, you have to say bye bye to Sky. Hmm. In the ODI um, format now, his form, his batting is untenable. He cannot crack the ODI blueprint. In fact, I think even if you had won the World Cup or Sky would have had a good World Cup also, still I think you would have said bye to Sky because of the age factor also. You would have. You would no, have if you had a good World Cup, I doubt. But he had one good knock. Yes, one good knock. That's it. That's it. And, and not just that, you've 
you know like what i was talking about with the gillespie uh, mold yep. that you know you the team will not adjust their roles for you as a player it's your job to adjust your roles to what the team demands from you yep. kl to his credit has actually done just that yes. he's an he's an opener hmm. an Thanks. opener who's adjusted yeah. to bat at number 5 with great panache same can't be said for sky you've tried him at his favored number 4 spot he uh, do didn't it. do a good job at number 5 also no no number 6 also no. not really number 7 absolutely not i mean he's had his one good knock came at 6 that's it six. but again even there uh, what's his sample size and more importantly if he's your number 6 That means he's pretty much a backup to Hardik Pandya. Are you dropping Hardik Pandya? No, mm, no hell, no way. And now everybody will say Hardik Pandya's injury proved to be very costly. Mm. In hindsight, now because yeah, hindsight too, yeah. Surya did not perform, only one game. That's about it. See how the the, the, re- the replacement for Hardik the bowler was Mohammad Shami. Yeah, that that, that was good. Right. But no one replaced Hardik the batter. Correct. That's the thing. You you were very reliant, and now you go back in hindsight, every single match thereafter. Runs from your top five is what got you home. Yes, and today Australia cracked the code. That is why getting a year out cheaply, curbing Surya's instincts and also KL Rahul's tempo. Yeah. Another another important one. They didn't let Gill get a big knock. Yes, mm. and remember, Gill was often playing that pull shot wide of mid on, but Cummins had placed Zampa there. And he found the fielder today. Gill's shot was terrible. Terrible, terrible. Terrible shot. Because the biggest reason is that he wasn't. In fact, I remember a promo of the World Cup or an interview. In okay, one said, minute. Player of the tournament is Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli has been named as the player of the tournament oh, this, for his 765. Oh, runs. this feels as hollow as 2003. Sachin, Sachin Tendulkar got 623 runs. Huh. But Virat Did Kohli. Did this night get any worse? No. Why? Why? Why should this night get worse? I mean, see, you at least got Virat Kohli on top Even of the charts. You wouldn't be happy, to be honest. But again, look, see, that's the sport. See, Mohammad Siraj, you could see the tears that were flowing. He was really, really, and kudos to Bumra and Shami for ensuring that. Okay, that don't worry, yar. It happens. That's professional you, you sport. You know, you know what it reminds me of actually. This uh, Sachin, this thing, or oh, Kohli's man of the series reminds me of two things. One was Sachin winning the man of the series in 2003. Lionel Messi winning the Golden Ball in 2014. 14, yes. Similarly Andrew, heartbreaking. 2019, Kane Williamson. Ah, actually. Yeah. Twen- New Zealand didn't lose, yet they couldn't win. Mm. Kylian Mbappe. But at least Mbappe is already a world champion. World champion at 2018. For Kobe, yeah. that's that's one difference. And football, mate, it's much harder to be a multi-time world champion. Yes. Cricket, mate, you can still do it. Ah, but 2011, 11 and 13. See, at least to ah, his 13. credit, and he won 11 and 13. Of course, to, but he will now probably never. He has one more chance in 2024 for a World T20. I doubt he's playing. But I, I think Rohit seriously doubt if he's playing. I, I think Rohit's playing. dream to win a World Cup is done. Is done. done. Yeah. I don't see him playing. He's for 36. 36. Yeah. 37. He's a year older to Kohli. Kohli has turned 35. 36. He will turn 37 soon. So, so no way. He's not playing for 37. No way. That's the thing. Plus, keeping his injury history in mind. No. Yeah. Which is why now you had the golden chance in 2023. What we were saying in 2023. There are two ICC events. Hmm. One was the World Test Championship, which we anyway started off as underdogs hmm. because it was going to be played in England. And remember, first Test in a Sena country. You never do well. You never do well, except for two occasions, 2018 and 2021. 2018, you won in uh, Australia in Adelaide. 2021, you won in Centurion. Hmm. But apart from that, you drew in uh, Trent Bridge 2014. Apart from that, it's never happened. So that was there. 2023 all your hopes were pinned why because home world cup no one has lost at home in the past 12 years mm. this was the feeling that okay you can win and you can get the cup you home you started this trend you ended it correct correct also just one more thing life has come full circle two yeah. full circles one Australia when started in 87 in India now it is culminated in India but my bigger concern is when is Richard Kettlebra retiring as an umpire why he isn't going to do anything <laughs> he didn't do <laughs> anything in fact his umpiring was spot on today spot Actually. on everybody will say oh why didn't he give out to that labushain delivery which bumrah bowled it, it was looks like it was sliding down leg it was sliding down leg to smith also na but no, again that was illingworth that was illingworth why didn't they review it 
I was I very surprised. surprised. No, remember. but from naked eye, it did not look the impact was outside. Exactly, out. naked mm-hmm. eye. When I saw it, I'm like, he's a goner. I was goner. surprised. Ten out of ten. When but I saw the today, the, unfortunately, head didn't give you any chances. Normally, he gives uh, you one or two chances. Not even one. You. No, because he again, I'm saying, once those three wickets fell, he went into a shell. He started defending. Yeah. When do you see Travis Head playing forward defences? And he got beaten a lot of times mm. by that late movement by Shami and Bumrah. Actually, and he rode his luck. Actually, he didn't just ride his luck. Shami, you helped him there. It might seem harsh now, but the one thing that separated India's bowlers from Australia's bowlers is discipline. Yes. And what yes. happens yeah. is, what happens is, if there's not much going on on a pitch, and truth be told, there wasn't a lot going on for the pitch for, for the Australian bowlers either. What separated them? Discipline. Yes. Consistently bowling in the same areas, having game plans for every bowler. What was Shami's major problem early on? Couldn't control the swing. Couldn't control. And that is a very very surprising thing. Shami. I know, and that is the next nightmare. You didn't bank on Mohammad Shami losing his line and length. That's why four was forty-seven. I Done. think that was more the frustration that actually. And mm-hmm. KL Rahul having a bad day behind the wickets. Just the Terrible worst day. day. Terrible day. That is why I am wondering. Damn, that one bad game had to come in the final. Exactly. Twenty seventeen also that one bad game. Actually, you had one bad game prior to that in seventeen. Mm. You lost to Sri Lanka. But you thought that was yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. You made some uh, one eighty odd. No. Sri Lanka chased down 322. That was your bad day. Of yeah, course, at the Oval. Okay. So I remember. Yeah, I remember that. I I remember doing uh, another organization where Sudha yeah. was also there. I was actually on live blog duty for that. It was very surprising. First, yeah, I remember it that. It was very surprising. So now, but actually, you know, we've had a lot of conversations. We've spoken about what this means for Australia. I'm tempted to talk about what it means for India, and I think what it means now hmm. is that one way or the other, the Rohit Sharma experiment is done with. I'll tell you why. not any knock on him 2022 you could see that you know he spoke about a template which they never quite embraced that only he embraced it no one else but he did also no in the clutch matches he wasn't he was playing like an anchor yep that was no, part of the problem no no, no 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 not 2020 he's talking about a 2022 world t20 world cup t20 world cup t20 world cup what was one thing that hamstrung you very badly Rohit and KL would be starting off like dawdlers. Yeah, yeah. They would be starting slow. Every other team was looking to attack in the power play. T20 no. it was a different debate. Exactly. So there. no, why I was talking about that because after India were like hammered, there's no better way to put it. Anything by yeah. England, ten wickets, that slap of a six by Butler to finish off the match. And then people were people were calling for Rohit Sharma's head. People called for Rahul Dravid's head. Oh, by the way, Rahul Dravid also, I think his tenure is is done. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think he's in next year. Yeah. Lakshman is in the team. In, yeah. So anyway, I think now why I'm talking about a, a change of era. Look, when K, when Virat Kohli stepped down or was removed or whatever it is you want to believe from captaincy, first in T20s, then across formats, it was 2021. Yep. Yeah. 2021, when that happened, when you <coughs> went to Rohit Sharma. Who was at that point thirty-four years 34, old? Thirty-four. Yeah. yeah. You knew it was always a stopgap arrangement. You knew you, you went to the next. Play, yeah. You you knew went to the one player who was available because the long-term option that you were grooming in KL Rahul was a not ready, and b you were having serious doubts about him anyway because he ended up losing both the Test series as well as that ODI series in South Africa. Mm. That that was what put major blemishes. And it was in a terrible form too. And a form mm. yes, and also not helped by the fact that in Bangladesh. He was terrible with the bat. You yes. may have won the two series, but he was terrible with the bat. So that was a long issue there. You then didn't have a long-term successor. So he said, "You know what? Never mind. Long term can wait. We need to end this jinx of ICC World Cups. What do you do? Turn to your best short-term option, and let's mince no words that Rohit Sharma was your best short-term option. Definitely. Five IPL title win, uh, five-time IPL winning captain. You knew he Loved had the pedigree. Beloved in the dressing room. Yes, beloved respected, in the dressing room. Respected, dressing respected room. one of the most senior players. You went to him. Fair." 2022, you stumbled. Fine, you said okay. We'll take a, s- a whole reset, which is why you went the Hardik Pandey way. Which again, I may confirm to you, is still not official. Yeah. It's still not official. But I think now it will be. Anyhow, you went for a clean break from that. You gave Rohit that time in both tests and the ODIs because he said no, no point putting any upheaval. There's a World Test Championship in 2023. There's an ODI World Cup in 2023. World Test Championship. You were seen as favourites until suddenly you weren't. Then you lost in Australia. At that point, then questions again arise about Rohit, the Test captain. You still say no, we're not removing anyone because again, quite frankly, you don't have anyone ready. And B, what would what is the point? You were barely playing any Test cricket after that anyway. The little Test you were playing, you were playing in West Indies. Yeah, that's it. And then B, 
you didn't win on any upheaval because you saw the ICC World Cup in 2023 at home as your best bet to end that tour redemption. Yeah. But if that's not happened. Are you going to see, is there any point now in carrying on with Rohit Sharma, the leader? For no, me, no, no, no chance. I think it's going to be a revamp of all three formats. Now look, now look, this is a tricky issue. Yeah. It, there is no straightforward solution to this entire thing. Okay. Mm. You have got a leader and you've got a senior guy who is 36 and 35 respectively. Mm. Okay. You got Hardik Pandya who's no younger if you have to look at it. How? He's 28. 28. 28. No, no. Isn't no, he in can, his can we check? Uh, no, Hardik is not in his 30s. Can we check Hardik Pandya's age? age yeah. I think he's not in his late 30s. He's, no, no, no. He's uh, late 20s. If I yeah, don't have but to again, he's in his early 30s. Now, let's check. I'm not quite sure what his age 30. is. 30. He's exactly 30. He's exactly yeah, yeah, oh, he's my age. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, if you want Hardik Pandya, the white ball captain, please maintain with it. Yeah, because then you have to give him the 4-5 years oh, that yeah. you would expect his career would last at this point. I mean, look, this is a tricky issue at this point in time. <laughs> I mean, he can be fit. Let's see now. No, left to me? Okay, let's just pick one captain if it's left to you. No, no, I'll, I'll tell For you. For tests it's tough. It is tough. Yes. No, no, no. I'll tell you, there is a problem. If you want to invest in someone young, you can't try Shubman Gill. I think he's the only option now. You can try Shubman. If you're talking soon. about red ball, right? Red ball. Ah, red ball. No, no, no. Red ball. Because see, now you're going to play two tests in South Africa. That's your last, you may say, final destination, final hurdle. Yeah. You've never won a series in South Africa. Yeah, despite two good attempts in 18 no, and 21. Yes. But, okay, with, Shub, yeah. but again, where is the backup? Where is the backup for a captain? Mm. You have no backup. Correct. Okay, you are not going to go back to Kohli, you are not going to go back to Rohit. Now. Yeah. Rohit will have to be persisted with. Pant, but when will he come yeah, back? No, I, it depends on his comeback, honestly. Yeah, I also agree. Agree. Then yes, I agree. Yeah, then I agree. Then I agree. But, but we are not considering him as an option. He will right come now. back in IPL. Yeah. But yeah. then you already got two tests, you already got five tests against England at home. Hmm. Now, Hardik may potentially miss even South Africa. There are rumours and reports that Hardik will not play in South Africa. Oh, Test anyways, he is not. No, no, we are talking about the white balls. But I think red ball, I'll tell you what. What I think about this situation is that Shubman Gill, what I have seen is that he is on the lines of someone like a Sachin and a Virat. Such batsmen, if you give them the captaincy, that just adds that extra stardom firstly on them. That puts more eyes on them. I think at that time, maybe you can end up having all the power in your hand. What happened with Virat? I just see that would end up as the same. But someone like a Shreya Sayyar. No. He, there is already a captaincy designate waiting, but he didn't have a good time. Jaspreet Bumrah. Hmm. Are you going to saddle Jaspreet Bumrah now with captaincy? When you also know that he has a fragile body, he may not play test. I mean, his body is on a prayer at this point. You can take it from me in writing. You will never see Jaspreet Bumrah play another test again. In test, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. See, Ayer is probably the only other option because, again, you know what my problem with Gill is? I see him as a barber like captain. Ah, yes. Great batter. Not a captain. I have seen more nothing like about Virat him. captain. Virat ah, is captain. I yeah. think I think Babar and Virat are in the same mold. As Being very frank with you, yeah, captain. they're yeah, great batters. Same. But the tactical reading of the game at times can be lacking. And with Babar, it was very pronounced. I may have to disagree with Virat's this thing at your assessment on captaincy. Not as a test captain, as a white ball captain. Yeah, not as a test captain. Yeah, a test captain, captain he was no, no, but test even in white yeah. ball, didn't he set the ball rolling, Virat? No, 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 no. White, as the white only ball thing he has done is given you these fast bowlers who have won you games. And with with white ball, I think his legacy is unfortunately what India saddled with now. Yeah. Bilateral giants, but always nearly men in ICC tournaments. India are like the South Africa of the 90s and the 2000s. Mm. Bilateral giants, but winning in ICC events. So it's not easy. So that's and my problem with Gil is I know that India has a tradition that you'll always look for your best batter and try and make him the captain. No. Has Gil captained any level? No, he doesn't even captain is Sayyid Mustaqali Trophy. Sayyid Mustaqali, they have seniors who are uh, he's, he's, he's not even yeah, captain yeah, he in first class level. He's boss. 23, 23. Now the prop that's why I said there is no simple solution. Ah, so I think you'll stick with Rohit for the short term. You have to stick with or Rohit. Or Bumrah. No, Bumrah for this, no. For, for tests now. For tests a year, first uh, give him a captaincy in IPL. I'm talking he is. about Gil. Oh, Gil. Ah, yeah. yeah. IPL first. But I think if you want white ball, Shreyas is a captain in IPL. No, he's talking about Gil. 
Gil. Gil. But then I think in the Gujarat Titans, where can he get a chance? But I remember there were there. reports that after Rohit oh, Sharma, Mumbai Indians might want to rope in Hardik Pandya again, again and uh. give him the captaincy. That, that is happen. the only thing that opens up that captaincy spot for Gil. But again, the problem is now the horizon that I'm looking at is a pretty blurred horizon. Abhi, the problem is two front. You got a white ball problem, you got a red ball problem. Exactly. Actually, Pant would have been an ideal red ball. Yeah, yeah, but definitely. that accident came at the worst time. Yeah, yes. yeah. He would have been the now, best choice. Now, the problem is you got five T20As against Australia coming up now in four days' time. And you're going to be led by a makeshift captain? Yes. Ritu Raj. KL, <laughs> now everybody's lost faith in KL. And plus, T20S. No, but there are. And play T20S. Rituraj might be an option. No, no, it might be. He will be no, the no, captain. No, it will be Sky. No, 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 no. I think uh-huh. it's going to be Rituraj. No, no, no I think why? Tokyo the Asian game. No, so I remember the reports that uh, mm. did the rounds. Rituraj was the option. If and only if Sky asked the BCCI for rest. Mm. But Sky is, Sky is the vice captain. Yes. So. The rule yes, is, the, anyways, the vice Yeah, he's the designated vice captain. Yeah. So if he doesn't take rest, and truth be told, I doubt he'd want he to would after this. Not want so to. he's going to be the captain. Ritu, I think, is a future captain in the waiting. But the problem with him is he needs to get solidified age, in format. Age again, it's and he's 26, 27. Yeah, now, then when you have now. someone like a Gil in the waiting. See, then. for me, my problem is the horizon's blurry when yeah. I look at who's the captain. Now for the toughest question mm. to all of you. The last of Virat and Rohit in white ball cricket? Maybe. You know what? What I feel according to me, if you leave it to me, definitely. But what I still feel is that you might just, unfortunately, fortunately, I don't know, might just see (coughs) Rohit and Virat in the team. I would never want that to happen. Never ever. But I just have this feeling. I just hope I'm proved wrong. But you might see them in the T20 World Cup. Why the hints they have given? For me. For me. Now, if you want to build a new team from scratch, you're 20 (coughs) until 15 to 23. The cycle's done. Hmm. From the World Cup that starts after this, the new cycle from November 23, that's when you want to build. If you get Rohit and Virat and you continue to play them in white ball cricket, you are not getting any fresh talent in. And in fact, now is the best time to build. You know why? Because that rebuild, albeit on a soft manner, has already started in T20s. Yes. What's your next World Cup? The T20, T20 World, World, Cup. World Cup. Now is the time, if you're the people in charge, you're like, yeah, you know what? These guys have been great servants to the game. Absolute bona fide legends, certified superstars of their day. Time for them might be done. You might still see already Rohit, Virat and KL are not really in the scheme of things for T20. T20. As things stand. As things stand. Again, that's with a big asterisk attached. And you're not going to play many ODIs in this cycle. Correct. You're not going to play. Not until the next World Cup. Not until the T20 World Cup is done. So are you saying that it's the end of the road for Rohit Sharma because Tess anyways? No, Tess, I think he'll stay for a while. He'll Mm -hmm. play. I think now he's one of your best Tess batters. Now, that's why I had said... Is it the end of Rohit and Virat and white ball cricket? Mm. Because you cannot suddenly come back in January with six months to go for the World Team, five months to go for the World Team and say, oh, let's get them both. No, That's bad. you can even suddenly get them after the IPL also. Ah, you might. Yeah. Yeah. If that happens, you are once again not learning from your mistakes. I agree. So you are not. I think if there's one thing which has been proved is that you are not learning from you your mistakes. You have not won a World Cup since 2011. How are you learning from your mistakes? Because you are sticking to those core of players and honestly speaking, is there anybody else who can step up? No. You know what part of the problem is that you haven't prepared the next gen. No, no, no. You know what? A lot will also depend on what? Who the next coach is. How he wants to take things forward. That's not the point. Where is your feeder system when it comes to having the next Virat Kohli? The next Rohit Sharma? Maybe the next KL Rahul? Where is that feeder system? It's, it's only good. IPL. No, is no, no, the it's I- domestic success. Where? You have the whole... Okay. When was the last time a domestic player came through and represented India? Al- 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 Mind Agrawal. Mayank yeah, Agarwal, that was five years okay, ago. I do try. Okay, I, I believe in you by when you say that someone from the domestic structure doesn't come. But you also have to remember, someone coming from the domestic structure is only possible in red ball cricket. In white ball cricket, because you have the IPL, you don't. You have to remember this. The, peop, the uh, uh, grassroots cricketers who are coming in the IPL are coming through the Syed Mustaq Ali and Vijay Hazare. But again, that's missing the point. You're mixing formats. What is IPL? It's T20 and despite having IPL for 15 years, 
you have not won a t20 world cup yeah, yeah, yeah again the problem is you have to stick with rohit and virat for one two years more because you don't have a feeder system of next yes, talent and, and, in t20 cricket you don't have where no, I no, 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 no. I'll, I'll tell you the problem for ODIs. I'll agree with you. Yeah, yeah. ODIs only. ODIs ODIs only. ODIs for genuinely, ODIs I do agree. For genuinely, you haven't had good ODI talent really come through. Who have been yeah, the yeah, best yeah. performers here? Yeah? Someone like a Shreyas, who, by the way, not so coincidentally, is someone who's had to grind it out the domestic circuit for, for years. For years, yeah. yeah. I remember, he had a thousand run season. Yeah. Right. Ah. So beyond that, who are your best performers? Rohit, Virat, Shami. Shami also put through the grind in domestic cricket, by the correct, way. Correct. Bumrah won a uh, Ranji title for Gujarat yeah, in 1516. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apart from that, where is the next bunch? So, yeah, and ODI, for ODIs, ODI, yes. Agree. For Tess he, also, but even for Tess, even for Tess. Yeah, Tess. Actually, is who's the only player in recent times who's come through because of great red ball form? Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. And, and are you going back to Prithvi Shaw? I remember having those uh, India A tours that board press. You've not been having those. You don't have them anymore. Because of the schedule. There is no time. There is no time. And remember, you just chucked aside Hanuma Vihari, who has been doing very well in domestic cricket, who has been a servant of it. After Sydney, he helped to Just to get in a Surya Kumar and a Shreya Sahir. See, at least with Shreyas, you can say he's gotten you something. Yeah. What has Sky done to merit a test call-up? I never understood. Yeah, yeah. It was always about you're trying to ape baseball without going full baseball. Exactly. You but aren't aping baseball if you're not going full baseball. See, in test and ODI, I feel you still have someone like a Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli for a couple of years. That is a different thing. But yeah. as far as T20 is concerned, if you continue to play a hard, uh, what do you call it, Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma or and KL. also, and a KL. Then I can get, name you 10 players who have come in, come from the Sayyid Nusagali and the IPL who are doing well in the, the Asian game side. You have look, Tilak you, Varma, yeah. Jashasvi Jaiswal, Rinku. Rinku. That's your T20 side. T20 side is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about ODIs only. ODIs. I, I, I ask you a graver question, one that we'll ask later and which we can't answer. I think the ODI format in itself is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now with India losing, yes. <laughs> It's in its deathbed almost now. It's only been propped up by an oxygen cylinder called an I, I, India winning the ICC World Cup. Now that now, you now euthanasia has been administered. No, no, now you're at a point where it's like a slow death. It because is. you might say that, oh, you know, the FTP has an increase in the number of ODIs, but proportional to tests and T20s, nothing. Nothing. And more importantly, you have to also remember that 23 to 27, you're playing three white ball tournaments, which are ODIs. ODIs. World Cup. World Cup, 27. 27 World Cup, 23 CT. World Cup and 25 CT. There's three tournaments which are ODIs. So a lot of those ODIs would come from there. But how many ODI series are people playing? Hardly. It's not. See, India are not going to play any until August or September. Look at it. Uh, and let's be, again go back to that example last year. With ODI World Cup qualification at stake, South Africa said, no thanks, we ain't playing an ODI SA series 20. against Australia. We we'll get through to the qualifiers. Even if we don't get through to the qualifiers, boss, they prioritize their SA20. That shows you where the money is. And remember, Can we see what Rohit Sharma said? Yeah, let's just see what he said. He'll come to the super chat. So let's just see what Rohit okay, Sharma said. Let's just go over that. We'll go over it in a little bit of uh, brief because we do want to discuss in some detail how it is yeah. we go. Then we'll take the comments. We'll take the comments. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, Rohit Sharma. The result has not gone our way. We were not good enough today. We tried everything, but it wasn't supposed to be. 20 to 30 runs more would have been good. KL and Kohli were stitching a good partner and looking at 270 to 80. But we kept losing wickets. When you have 240 on the board, you want to take wickets, but credit to Head and Labushain, who stitched together a big partner and put us completely out of the game. We tried everything we could, but I felt wicket got slightly better to bat under lights. Man, he acknowledges Pat Cummins is genius in that yeah. sense. Don't want to give that as an excuse. We knew under lights it would be slightly better to bat. He's contradicted himself. Exactly. But don't want to give that as an excuse. <laughs> you okay. just did. You just did. We didn't put enough runs on the board. With the seamers up front, we took those three wickets and another wicket there, we could open up the game. Credit to those two guys in the middle for stitching an outstanding No, I think you needed two more wickets to open up the game. Because even after you got Labushain and if you got Head, there was still a Maxwell waiting and for an you. English. There was Josh English Inglis. And, and Cummins and Stark. Stark. Correct. I, you wanted to, I wanted to talk about this earlier also. We got away from that topic that is reading the situation conditions been a problem with us? Because I remember in the England game also we were having this discussion that we did not assess the conditions that day. 
Mm. A very bad day for the England bat- batsmen, but I think that came and bit us back. Yeah, can we go up and see? I agree with you. I think reading conditions has been a problem for a while. One cloud, one hour of cloud cover ensured and you, ensured ensured you lost the World Test Championship. Yeah. Uh, go up, I want to see what this has been a problem uh, since a very long time. What's his name? Uh, Pat, Pat Cummins. Cummins. Said. What is Pat? Uh, he said, I think we saved our best for last. <laughs> for <laughs> <our> <laughs> We've been batting first for pretty much the whole tournament and we thought it's a good night to chase down the target. Didn't really spin as much as we thought either. Ooh, the boys were fantastic. We have an aging side, and still everyone is throwing themselves on the field. Well, their red fielding today was next level. We thought 300 might have been tough, but achievable on that wicket. Really chuffed with 240, magnificent. Manas with a cool head, and Travis does what he does in the biggest stage. Showed a lot of character. The selectors have backed him, and it is a big risk that we took, and it paid off. I James Faulkner vibes are coming. Mm, I was pretty happy throughout the bowling innings. You look around, special moment, no matter whatever happened, you have to go and win the World Cup. You can't wait for it to happen. This year will be remembered for a long, long time. And we had a lot of success over the winter. And this one peaks it all at the top of the mountain. Pat mm-hmm. Cummins has achieved the three-peat. Yes. No other... I would say, which other team could have won it across formats? No, I'm sorry, Pat Cummins is now up there for me as one of the best captains that Australia has ever yeah. had. And you know what's even funnier? This is a team throughout history that rarely if ever makes bowlers captains. Yes. The last time Australia made a captain before Cummins took it in 2021 was 65 years ago. Exactly. Ray Lindwall. After but Lindwall that, captained only one test. After that, it was all batters. And... Look at the making of Pat Cummins. You thought that 4 nil Ashes was the making? No. His 1 nil series win in Pakistan in those flat, road-like conditions made Pat Cummins the captain. And he's a superb leader. Yes, bilateral series didn't go his way. Nothing else went his way. But, but, Australia's resilience. And here, I would like to credit one more player hmm. for ensuring Come on, this is old style Australianism. Glenn Maxwell. Mm. Mm. Maxwell in Mumbai made the unachievable achievable. Correct. Battling cramps, 91 for 7. Gone. 0.6%. That was the winning percentage Australia had. He plays one of the greatest ODI innings ever. Mm. On one leg, basically he didn't have any leg to stand on. With no feet, he achieved a great feat. That's why Cummins has to thank Maxwell for that knock against Afghanistan. And mm. I'm telling you, if there's a documentary of the test. Oh, I'd love to see one of this yeah, yeah, chapter will. will be special. 2023, because again, WTC, Ashes, World Cup. And you're talking about crowd environment. See, the Indian crowd today in Ahmedabad were very, very welcoming. Mm. Mm. Australia faced abusive crowds in England. Yeah, that was next level hostile. But they held on. Mm. And that's what's shown through today? That's shown through. Australia were playing with 1,32,011 people against. Everything was thrown at them. Pitch was tacky. You don't know what the pitch was yet. Single-minded, bloody-minded determination. That's the fact. In fact, I was just uh, reading this. Rohit for Rohit, they were looking at 270-280. Same way Pat Cummins, they thought that 300 might have been a good total. To, but could achievable. Have been a, achievable to, total. This just shows how differently both the teams actually read the conditions. And we were the ones laughing on the fact that they have chosen to vote. I held my horses. I said that if Pat Cummins is saying it, I will believe what Pat Cummins is saying. Man is an underrated cricket brain. He's a genius again, now. He's a genius. Again, we went ahead of time this time. Again. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, let's take some super chats now. Small. Heartbreaking. Some Heart heartbreaking. heartbreaking. See, the better team won. No yeah, particular yeah, on facet. The day. On the day. No Too particular facet. Right? No 30 to 45 minutes of bad play. Today, your entire... Unit collapsed. Hmm. The better team better on the team. day, yep. not in the tournament. India were trying to hmm. use a pea shooter, but that was a tank that was coming in front of them. Yeah, you, you, brought, you brought a knife to a gunfight, simple yes. as that. And the knife also, by the way, was a Swiss knife, which meant it had no effect whatsoever. It had no effect. And I think Australia, if you look at it, they were having an AK-47 oh, yeah. in a gunfight. <laughs> I love conflicts. <laughs> our first fan, fan funding from the US. US. On the bright side, Sil- Sid doesn't have to suffer the duel. No man, Silva, I love conflicts today. I I think I had something which I shouldn't have had. I vomited. I had a 
splitting headache. What, what did happened? Happen? When did when did all of this happen? Oh, I, had I remember. Yeah, I saw. Uh, <laughs> and I <laughs> just asked Anil sir. I vomited and I was like. Nikhil I said, I'm not having anything. I told Nikhil, please don't get me anything. I, If I have something, I may not survive the night. I want to survive the night so that I can do other stories after this. We have yeah. pizzas for dinner. I can't take it. There's no I'm way he's in, eating it. I'm not eating. Not after throwing up. All of us will have your share. Yeah. Sharan is like saying, we are officially in the class of chokers and should never play a World Cup in India. Man, it's such a heartbreak. Mm. See, 14 final. 15 semi final, 16 semi final, 17 final, 19 semi final, 21 group stage, 22 semi final, and now 23 final. Again. Eight ICC events in 10 years. You're not crossing. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I wouldn't call this as choking. You know why? I'll, I'll uh, give you my point here. Because choking, I considered the 2019 one when you had that bad half an hour. 2016, you bowled those no balls. 2017, you bowled those no balls. Today, you were out and out, outplayed by the better side on the uh, day. Yeah. Right? So, I wouldn't call this as choking, choking. The better sense. team won today. Yeah, this isn't that. choking. This isn't choking in that yeah. sense. I would agree 2014 was a choke. Hmm. Yeah. Because you yeah. had wickets, yet you could not do anything about it. Visha Patel Even is saying... Even 2016, you dropped catches. You dropped catches, no ball, but I think the West Indies were possessed. No. They, they were possessed. But you got no runs on the board. Exactly, they were possessed. Thanks to no small part of the fact that they knew the Indian team was sloppy. Yeah. So that's that helped. Thing. Vishwa Patel says, no analysis needed. Wow. Okay. We're chokers. Leave the ICC and play IPL. Yeah. That's a heartbroken that's fan. That's heartbroken team. fan. Go down, go down. Vishal Panchal. I blame South Africa for our loss. Anyways, Siraj was leaking runs, but still he could have taken new ball. One change was working for Shami. Well played, Oz. I do agree. Suddenly, why did you ensure that you put Shami as your new ball bowler? As he had not done in this entire tournament. Because you needed wickets. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that was a wrong goal. Yeah. You went with the best bowlers you had. Actually, and Shami was, was brilliant against the left-handers. And yeah. he got one out. He, Bumrah was absolutely breathing fire at this time. So, hey, eh, what Sidney happened? Sir's friend. Oh, no, no, Prithvi no. Prithvi Patnaik, Patnaik. Your close friend. A good stat before you put all the blame on Sky. India scored four boundaries from 10 to 40 years in which Marsh, Maxwell and Head bowled. Seven overs for 12 runs. Sky came in 38 overs. That doesn't mitigate any of Sky's blame, by the way. Come on, Prithvi. Prithvi Patnaik, I know that you are a Sky fan. <laughs> you exactly. had, as Shivam pointed out rightly, you had gotten Surikumar Yadav to give you that 20-30 runs extra. That aggressive extra 20-30 runs. Where was that? Nowhere. And I'm sorry, the sample size is big enough. That's it. No way are you going to ensure that sky stays now. Sorry. Absolutely. Let's take. Okay. Let's take. A, I think there are a few more questions. We'll uh, uh, run because there are a lot of super chats. Ah, uh, Krishna, Krishna Yadav, we'll read both of uh, his because it's pretty much combined. Saying that playing on an old slow pitch with Dew coming in later on, it was decided that a toss. Surprising thing was Rohit wanted to bat. Why on an old slow pitch when you have a better team? Well, totally agree. Says it's not a player's fault. BCCI can't have a new even pitch for the World Cup final. Come on, you have killed a billion dreams. No, Krishna Yadav. Today you were outplayed by a better team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Krishna, yeah. I mean, I think you would have been more day, outplayed on a better pitch. On yeah. the day, I'm again and again specifically mentioning on the day. Yep. But Ooh. this day is what matters. It yeah. is, it is. Vishal so go down just to make myself feel better. <laughs> Vishal Panchal uh, says. Wait, uh, I think he is. Uh, yeah. I know. We're all lagging. Need Kohli to play T20 World huh? Cup? Disagree. Please don't. This is a debate for another time. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I will answer with no, no and hell no. No. Yeah. yeah so Ashish Dhar is saying, Umpire's call came to haunt India this time. India cannot be favourites. Today was not India's day. Don't blame Rohit. Main reasons for Australia winning. Slow pitch and discipline by Australia. Slow pitch, we are, really, are we really blaming that for? Because <laughs> the slow pitch was meant to assist you. Yeah. You fell in the apparently. Anyway, I sorry, Ashish, Dhar, that can't. Hey. Oh boy, yeah. I have a problem with the media. Ashish, Dhar is saying, why build a narrative? India to jiti gaya just before the big game, and you don't win, then criticize them. First of all, we didn't build and say that India 100% winning. We, we said that the favorites. They are the favorites. Two. We did say that India. It's difficult to any team to beat India, but Australia they are always going against the trend. 21, they did it. 
23 you can say they did it in the yep. WTC yeah. and now in 24 well yep. in 23 the ODI World Cup they run again Mirage rules with three super yeah. chats and I'll read them quickly let's accept it we're chokers in ICC finals from 2014 I mean I mean you've choked in three different ICC tournaments yeah you choked in three different formats no not two oh actually yeah World Test Championship WTC also yep. correct Mirage rules for those who are too young this is how 2003 felt there is no worse. Sp- there's no spring in Travis Head's bat did it 2003 was worse wasn't this worse because no. you were expected to win no both you, are worse bo- actually both are bad in their own way but 2003 <coughs> you were comprehensively thrashed I would say this Even is the board worse would this? Actually, yeah. I'll tell you why because your favourites your favourites playing at home yeah. that was a neutral venue That's Mirage right. rules with a comment of the night saying I don't care about the world cup IPL is real cricket hey. 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 you are I exactly yep exactly so that is why let's look at normal questions take a couple of normal questions then call it a night because we have to do other stuff also my friends yeah for all of you you people you people uh, yeah was KL the gentleman was KL Rahul innings good enough your comments he was playing too slow what are your thoughts we already debated gentlemen that. rewind back to the story which we did we have commented about KL Rahul's knock Abhishek Tiwari WTC T20 World Cup World Cup they always lose one side when will this team lose the way New Zealand does mm, valid point uh, but it's, it's in any way if you lose the way New Zealand does or you lose the way India does losses still hurt yeah you want to win Okay, GGK is again saying, Sid, why can't you see pattern? Remove Richard Kettlebrand and we'll win next World Cup. Are yaar, come, come on. Come on, GGK. JJP, come on. <laughs> Today, Kettlebrand was spot on. No, no, but I think he is the I know, I unlucky get point, factor. No, you media, you it. fans have made this thing. There is nothing called as unlucky factor or anything. India lost, you are beaten. Empire and nothing to do with it. I, so, I, 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 I agree. Yeah. Like what Hardeep Singh says, it's the third time that a team has lost a final in this particular stadium. How? Really? And highest runs score and highest wicket taken from losing side. GT 2023. And Rajasthan Royals in 2022. And ah, now this. Actually. Hardeep Singh, you're right, man. See, GT in 2022, Rajasthan Royals, Josh Butler was the man with most runs. UZ Chahal was the leading wicket taker and they lost. GT... Shubman Gill with 890. Mohamed Shami. And Mohamed Shami and they lost. Wow. Here, okay. Virat Kohli and Mohamed Shami, they lost. Wow, Hardeep Singh. Please. Phenomenal. I know. Gunjai Shah. Gunjai for 5-10 minutes, 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 please come. 5-10 minutes. minutes, please, Harshad. I know that How you are now... <laughs> Why? Why do you want to hurt him? Please throw the water at him. You have my permission. Yeah, my permission. Yeah, huh? All the more reason. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Varun Parvathanani says, and that's by the way, Hardeep, wonderful point. Wonderful love this point. Well, yeah, I just quickly want to know your thoughts and I'll tell you how I feel right now because obviously I missed the chat. Yeah. So, can I individually, can we start from Sashwat, let's say, yeah, yeah. keeping it very short. I know you would have all had your rants per se. Is Nikhil coming? I don't know. I don't think he's the coming for another 10-15. So I don't yeah, know. Yeah. So there are there were questions over Rohit, but I don't think anything. How are you feeling right now? That's that's the only how thing. How right now. exactly we've lost the pain, the agony, the weight, all of it extends. Yeah, yeah. What's the feeling? Once the chat started, I had to gather my emotions a bit hmm. because this was the first time. First time after 2011, 2011, though I didn't even know what was happening. But this was the first time since 2012, I would say that I felt that yeah, this is the first time you will genuinely win the World Cup and it did not happen it I I am still numb I you know when will this actually hit me when I wake up tomorrow morning Mm. because right I'm genuinely telling running up from down I till the time I did not see those visuals I wasn't able to digest the fact that you are actually going to end up lose this game so that there is emptiness absolute emptiness and uncertainty you know when we joined this organization in March 2022, and I speak for Shane also, the T20 World Cup was not the major focus. No. The mm. major focus was this World Cup in 2023 at home. You are building up for all that. Okay, obstacles, fine. Let it be, let it be, let it be. Home World Cup, you had your ultimate chance of redemption. That's gone. Now I am feeling absolutely empty what next now where can i get my josh what is there to look forward to it's numb. bleak i feel numb 
I feel numb. I feel bleak at this. You point. have the T20 series. I have numb. I feel numbness because again, this is not a new feeling, but I think this is the one time where it's hit so badly because you were supposed to be the favorites and you played like the favorites. Yes. In every other tournament, 14, fine, you can say it was a joke. 15, you were not the favorites. Sorry to say, you were outplayed by an Australia team in the semis. That was much better. 16, again, I don't think you were favorites. Yes, it was a home World Cup, but there were other teams that were stronger. In, and and i would place both the finalists west indies and england above how india were faring at that point yeah. right mm. 17 you had you fell a victim to the bad half hour but there were warning signs when sri lanka of all teams had beaten you yes. in the champions trophy 19 there was a glaring one issue or should number i say four. four issues because of that number four batsman 21 you were a mess 22 you were trying to play an aggressive template with three anchors i never had your favorites this time around though 10 wins out of 10 games let me add to shane's point you've scaled a summit okay you're almost about to place the flag one small step you tumbled you are this close you know why you tumbled because another team from absolutely out of nowhere slid up a uh, slid past you put their flag and then kicked you down at the same time i'm That's now i am now feeling very empty now everything's done i am now having no fumes or even fuel to continue that's how i want to see this indian cricket team now i just have got no fuel for josh anymore i want to uh, go on uh, uh, you know it's it's plenty of emotions but no emotions at the same time it, it's mm. that kind of a feeling because you're trying to process so much first of course is the fact that uh, and i want to actually start by saying that uh, yes it's not the outcome that we all prayed for wanted and wished for but i think i'm proud of the team i am proud of the way and the brand of cricket that this team has played yes and a bad day is allowed for every team but it doesn't change the fact and i will not turn into a critic just basis let's say two hours of cricket that didn't go our way uh, so i continue to be proud of the way that they played their cricket and i mm. think that's my solace as well my solace in this defeat is the fact that we were by far the best team and we were head and shoulders above the rest so that is where i get my solace from second of course is a sense of numbness which is overcoming me right now and which is why uh, I, you know i i got calls let's say from friends from uh, my parents as well there are certain uh, there's one of my friends group uh, that's actually waiting for me to get done with work because they're like we want to exchange thoughts and all and a couple of them called to check <coughs> in so that's and that just speaks for everyone because of course we all had friends and family members watching the match together and that's to say that we all sort of felt about this indian team a certain way and so many hopes are dashed uh, because of what happened today at the narendra modi stadium you know this reminds me of an interesting parallel of 1999 why australia lost two of the three games won to got back to win the title this is the sixth title same two games lost they won the title but look at the opponent that they beat in order to get there in the 1990s south africa were head and shoulders above the rest hmm. they had lost only 20 games in a five year cycle but out of that 18 came against australia hmm. india had beaten every other opponent but they had lost four out of the six games against australia and that was really always the big weakness we just never saw it we never saw it uh anyway i think we have a cup ha uh-huh. ha bilkul bolo yaar bilkul bolo uh raat ko dai ke office se ghar pahuncha tha hindi hari 4 baje uthke rohit ki pg sonne tha matlab this is the Shivam is just one of us. Yeah. For Shivam, our dear producer and our friend says, is that yesterday he got back home after work at two thirty in the morning, and because he was feeling anxious about the match, all he was all he started to do was listen to the Rohit Sharma PC that had happened yesterday, and that's the sense of expectation and the sense of build up that we. Were. In fact, I for one, I can tell you, and I've been having these conversations with both Saranch and Nikhil, and that you know the forget the way to the work. The anxiousness of the match is such that for three na- days on the trot now, I've not been able to sleep properly. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've been waking up at six thirty in the morning, then again at seven, and this this is like a good couple of hours before mm-hmm. my actual alarm. And uh, my heart definitely goes out uh, to uh, all our family members as well joining us. Uh, in yeah, yeah, yeah. This to everyone was feeling. Uh, and, uh, 
don't know maybe because i have this is my fourth world cup now perhaps i would have echoed your sentiments when i was one of uh, them in 2011 what happened he wants us to read something yeah, just please harshit go for it i think it's going to be read in private is it hmm is just sharing an excerpt of the conversation he had with his father in the morning ah this time abhi ajay abhi ki see hearts will be broken and tomorrow you're going to face the ultimate monday blues tomorrow is when it's going to hit you hard yeah, 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 yeah. and you know i for for a while now i've been saying this the little happiness in terms of sport and i take my sport we like we all do very seriously man united have been doing well simple as that yeah. so on that front it's a lost cause anyway for a few months now the only joy from the sporting world i was getting was from the indian team and this was pure delight this was mm. pure delight and right now the jokes again on me now again like what do you do now i i really don't know at the moment and see i now understand south africa 2015 they lost that semi final in such heartbreaking conditions but i will take solace from the fact that ab de villiers stated you have to move on the sun will rise tomorrow and you have to move on the earth sun is going to be very hard now look at see that's why i have chosen my idol to be kane williamson everybody if you have to recover from that heartbreak listen to that man speak after the 9, 2019 world cup final you will understand why he is one of the best statesmen we've ever had for cricket that speech <coughs> is a bomb that speech tells you how you have to go on and move on see cricket is not going to stop it will feel like the end of the world at this point for all of us <coughs> totally agree it I'll is the end of the world for many again it's a tough few days ahead for all of us and just say and, and i hope none of us forget this for the longest time let's you, be proud you've got Three let's, days later, you got cricket resumed. Let Let's be proud of the effort that these guys have put in. We have got to be proud of the way that they have played. Eleven uh, zip uh, was it could have been, to be. Hmm. 10 but ten zip was something phenomenal. You saw, uh, you know, wins that you couldn't think of. You saw situations that you never saw the Indian team to be in. Yep. And you got to be proud of that. I yep. hope, as an individual myself, you will. I remember always, this. Let's say yeah. a few years down the line I'll, as well. I'll add one more thing, and we can end on this, and then take some. Super a, 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 and ah. because I saw those visuals, hmm. Virat Kohli named the player of the tournament. But you know who, who he re, uh, uh, reminded me of? Sachin Tendulkar, two thousand three. Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe. But Kylian Mbappe again, he was already a world champion. So, so, so is Virat. Yeah, so is Virat. But Mbappe won it but four years prior. Th- that's fine. I'm saying not twelve years prior. Kohli cut the sorry figure that Kylian Mbappe. He Mbappe? again the kind of you remember how Messi, sorry, Messi 2014. Messi 2014. But Kylian Mbappe was holding the golden boot, and we saw how big he was smiling. Right. Same with Messi. Golden ball in hand. What is the visual that went viral? No, him staring. I'll tell you why. Which he had not won. Mbappe's thing reminds me of 2019 New Zealand. Why? Mbappe put in a superhuman effort, a hat trick in the final. Hmm. Apart happened from failing, you're dying, and that too. And you still lose. That is where 2019. The parallel with Mbappe is 2019, where you stare into the abyss. I did everything I could. Williamson, the player of the tournament. Yes, but look at the class of Williamson. Hmm. That's why. But I'll end this entire debate. Then we'll take this thing with one thing. I remember in 15 when England went on their big reset. Hmm. A year later, they ended up making it to the final of a T20 tournament. Up. Ended up losing it in very heartbreaking fashion. Carlos they were Brathwaite, favorites, remember the but name. those four sixes from Brathwaite absolutely murdered off any chance. But see how well England recovered from that. They came back from that very very strong, and then eventually went on to get the glory that they knew their methods and processes would get them. India had a similar heartbreak. You might see different players, but maybe you can learn from this now and say, okay, we figured out the way. Now we just need to have that faith that next time we are not having that loss or that uh, that loss in the final, and the next time comes with a win in the final. You would hope. Again, this is where I'm trying to strike a bit of an optimistic note because otherwise we're just going to be stuck in a doom and gloom forever. More so for us because we're not only sports fans but also guys who follow the sport uh, journalists. So maybe the sun will rise again. It you will know? rise again, but then you have to move on. Yeah, there is no other way. 
time doesn't wait for anybody time just moves on and i like to quote this very popular song that was ever colonial cousins time is the healer time moves on i am not waiting for anyone with that mantra see the indian cricket team gave a billion fans 45 days of excellent happiness ecstasy we mm. used to be over the moon with shami's performance with bumrah's performance shreya sayer virat kohli rohit sharma all redefining excellence yeah the fact that the top run getter and the top wicket taker and the man of the tournament are all from one side that just tells you how good a tournament you had you may have won the tight no world cup there is no world cup title though that is the mm-hmm. biggest thing it will be like a thorn at the side of your leg it's biting you but uh, i know i kind of know whether i should take it off or go with the pain but that's very the honestly this everyone this is going to hit when we wake up tomorrow morning because i remember just today morning i was telling everyone i'm not planning to go back home i got my clothes that i'll stay at a friend's same place here and come I back also. early morning again hey, yeah. so, so while i was on my way downstairs uh, somebody from the desk was like you know there's a silver lining to everything and here the silver lining is that our sports team does get some break now Okay, sir. <laughs> we don't, my sir. We Good don't. One. We don't want those breaks because There we came prepared break. for a four that we are here till four in the morning. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Everybody of us. Four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I have yeah. got a separate kurta just to ensure that okay, I would wear it at that time. Yeah, Anyhow, yeah, let's same. quickly wrap this up by. Uh, We'll end these. Uh, we'll end the conversation with these visuals, Shivam. But let's just quickly I wrap it up by taking like those hai. couple of comments yeah, that we, we have. We have a couple of super chats, so just still waiting for yeah, 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 okay, yeah. response. And let's keep it brief. Yeah. Uh, Shivam says our team should learn how to be strong mentally. Media pressure, fans pressure, conference, etc. They should take inspiration from Novak yeah. Djokovic and how strong he is mentally. Good point. Good point. Krishna Yadav says, just answer me one thing. If Australia had batted first, who would have won? Just the new ball wickets earlier in Chennai, also batting second on slow pitches is a huge advantage. I mean, I look, know. you collapsed in Chennai. Simple. That's why Australia squandered it. Now you can't say that. Oh, if Os have batted first, who would have won? That's hindsight. It's happened. Can't change it anymore. Vishal Panchal says, 2011 we won with Gary Kersen as the coach. 2013 with Duncan Fletcher. Haven't won anything under an Indian coach. Time for a foreign coach. No debate for another nah, time. Nah, nah, nah. I'll debate for another right. time. Shane rightly says, debate for another day. Yeah. Whole debate for another time. Aritra pa- Pathak says <laughs> predictions in India Qatar Kalinga I think India put up a good fight but lose but uh, it's happening in Kalinga I thought it was happening in no, no so it's always the home and away ah, it's okay. always home and away okay. so you have played six games home and away Miraj rule says 2003 Sachin 2023 Virat yes. <laughs> same vibes yeah Vishal Panchal says I wish it was night here going to be oh yes. oh yeah he's in the Americas I know mm. Miraj rule is saying if this was a league tournament. India still would be on top with one loss from 11 matches and Australia second with two losses. That's why having a best of three finals is correct. Nah. You wouldn't be having this debate if India won the India final. Won. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And remember, in a best of three finals, most of the times Australia would bounce back. Exactly. Tanmay Joshi says the best team doesn't always win. Otherwise, RCB and South Africa would have had multiple titans. RCB have never been the best team. They've had good injuries. Another time. Yeah. They've been like second. Think they lost in one innings. Third, second best. Third. When do you think we good. lost in one innings? You lost it in all innings, my friend. Yeah. It was a bad game, simple as. Anyway, we'll wrap it up. It's we been a long night. Call curtains on this World Cup with this rather heartbreaking visual. We yeah, but well, it's been an exciting World Cup for 47 days. It was exciting. We thrilled everything. We were like on top of the world for a very long period of time. Were we looking down on creation? We are looking down on creation. And the only explanation that we could find, so well, we just spent a debate an hour and a half and could find no explanation. So, congratulations to Australia. heartbreak for india but the sun will rise tomorrow and you have to move on in life thank you so much folks for joining us for this entire world cup the love the appreciation the criticism all that you've given us we take it sir aankho pe we take it harshit Shashwat, me, and Shane are all and indebted to you. Nikhil too. He's not here with yes. us, but he would He's be back, you know. He is. <laughs> so thank you so much throughout your entire company. We have enjoyed it. Yes, not India's time, but. We'll be back and be proud of Reem. Be proud. Be yes. proud. Bye bye from all of us. Bye bye. Hmm.